Okay, we're in Sanhedrin, Perik Yud, Mishnah Bet, second Mishnah in the 10th chapter of Mishnah Sanhedrin. The last Mishnah we learned, Kol Yisrael, we, we first started by saying all Jews have a chilek le'olam haba, a portion in olam haba, in the world to come. And then we decided that not everyone has a lusha'en lahem chilek le'olam haba, a bunch of people, a bunch of categories of people don't have a portion in the world to come. Our Mishnah, our Mishnah, Mishnah Bet, is going to discuss a bunch of people, a number of individual people, that also don't have historical individuals that don't have a portion in the world to come. So three kings listed in the Tanakh and four hedyotot, non-monarchs. Hedyot is a is a is a is a, uh, is a uh, lay person. They don't have a portion in the world to come. Who are they? So these three kings, they were very well known for their promulgation of idolatry and their spreading of the, 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 uh, the, the notion of idolatry in, in the land of Israel, in the kingdom of Israel. Yeravim Menavat, Achav, and Menashe, they were known as terribly, terribly wicked kings. Rabbi Yudah, Rabbi Yudah, says, no, Menashe, yesh lo chelek le'olam haba. Menashe had a portion of the world to come. Shneemar, as it says in Divrei Hayamin, vayit palel le'lav. He prayed to him, Vayatelo, Vayishamat Hinato, right? And Vayatelo, God answered him. He was resp- he, he responded to him, Vayishmat Hinato, and he heard his supplication. Vayishivehu, Yerushalayim, the Malchuto. And, and, and he was returned to Yerushalayim to his Malchut, to his monarchy. Amrullah, the sages said to Rabbi Yudah, Le Malchuto, Heshivo, yes, he was returned to his Malchut, to his monarchy. But, but he wasn't returned to Chaye Olam Haba. Okay, now it's worthwhile to point out that Gati points out, quotes of the Gemara, and says that the Gemara learns out from the Psukim in each of these, in, in each of these Nevi'im, okay, uh, Psukim about Yeravam, Achav, and Menashe, how we know that each of them lost a portion in the world to come. You can look it up if you want. Okay, who are the Abba Hedyotot? Abba Hedyotot, the four non, non-kings, Bilam, the, 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 the prophet of the non-Jews, Doeg Adomi. Doeg was the, was the person who, who spoke Lashon Hara about David HaMelech, and he caused the Shaul to kill out the Nov Ir HaKohanim. Achitofel. Achitofel was the, the, uh, the advisor to Avshalom, who told Avshalom, who advised Avshalom to rebel against David HaMelech. And Gehazi, Gehazi was uh, the Na'ar, was the servant of Elisha HaNavi. Okay, and he was bevazet amidei chachamim. Okay, so now, so the, what about these four hadiyotot? Even though all these people are gedolim v'chachamim hayu, elam chelak al olam haba, all these people didn't have a chelak in olam haba, shelo hayta emunatam shleima. Okay, it, because their emuna was not complete. They didn't have complete faith. So what about Bilam? Bilam was umot ha'olam. We said kol yister el eshlem chelak. We're not talking about uh, people who are in non-Jews. We also learn Hasidei Umot Olam Yeshlem Chelak Laolam Abba. The righteous of the of the Umot Olam of the nations of the world, they also have a portion in the world to come. So Bilam wasn't on that list. All right, we'll stop here. Dedicated learning to remember you, my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a good day.